In this video, we will see an infant pyloplasty for a right-sided malrotated POJ obstruction. So, one-year-old girl with right-sided urinary tract dilatation, which kept persisting, and there was a holdup in late films. And there is preservation of cortex and renal function here. A CT urogram revealed that this is a posterior view. Right kidney was um, holdup is there. There is a lower polar vessel. And also the right renal pelvis is posteriorly mal rotated. So here this is the position of the patient and laparoscopy is being done. 5 mm umbilical port and 2 3 mm lateral ports have been inserted. And you can see that the table has been kept as low as possible to, to keep it ergonomically comfortable. In a normal PUJ obstruction you will be encountering the pelvis first. Whereas in a posterior mal rotation and a lower polar vessel the pelvis will be held down by these structures. So here, that is the lower polar vessel and then you can see the pelvis is um, downwards facing. So we are actually dismembering it first to bring the pelvis anterior to the lower polar vessel and the urethra has been dissected a little bit. Now the pelvis has to be hitched up with a stay and in this particular case we needed a second stay as well to keep the and pelvis uh, opened up and then get it into vision. So that is patulation of the ureter. You can see the nice mucosa rugosity here. So in this case, we are going to start the anastomosis from the top, unlike a conventional anastomosis. So from the top, we are doing a continuous 5-0 vicral anastomosis. The first layer is being uh, run uh, under vision. Uh, that is the posterior layer there. So once that is completed, uh, before tying the knot, we are going to insert the double J stent there. So that is come to the heel of the there thing. And we are now ensuring that there is a mucosa, the lumen is patent. And um, the double J stent is being inserted via a 3 mm suction catheter from the top port over a guide wire. So once this is positioned comfortably, we'll be doing the knot, uh, that's the knot of the heel, which normally we do it first, but in this case, because of this uh, malrotation as well as uh, uh, posteriorly rotated pelvis, we had to do it from top to bottom. So once this is done, the second stage suture is removed, and now we are continuing with the anterior layer. This is also a continuous 5-0 vicral suture, running suture, and here this is slightly easier because we are doing it from the outside. Uh, so that is a continuous uh, 5 0 vicral sutures to complete the anterior layer of the anastomosis. So once we reach the top, we anastomose the, we tighten the knot and then complete the rent in the pelvis, closure of the rent, and uh, that completes the pyloplasty. In this case, we did not leave a drain because it was very nice anastomosis and there was not much collection there. You can now see that the, the vessel, lower polar vessel is nicely placed behind the pelvis and the anastomosis is now facing anterior um, and uh, that is a good result for a case which was having difficulty because of posterior malrotation of the pelvis as well as the lower polar vessel there. So that is the lower polar vessel you can see behind the anastomosis.